Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krabsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'll be showing you how to mine to Unminable from Hive OS. So, first off, you want to go to the Unminable website, I'll link it in the description below, and you want to decide what coin you want to mine because you have to decide your wallet address, and you also need the coin symbol in order to mine it through Hive OS. So, for example, because I already have it going, I'm going to do BTT, so some BitTorrent. So what you want to do is just click on it and then get a wallet for BTT or whatever coin you're doing. And then you want to go back over to Hive OS. So once you're back over at Hive OS on your main farm and once you're logged in, you just want to select your main farm and then you want to go over to the wallets tab here. And once you're at the wallets tab, you want to click add wallet. And for the coin ticker, you want to put in whatever coin that you're doing. So for example, I already have it set up, but I would type in BTT because I'm doing BitTorrent. And once you do that, it'll say create new uh, coin or whatever. So for example, I'll just do that. So I'll say create BTTT or whatever, but in your case, you'd be doing whatever coin. And then what you want to do is post the wallet address right down here, just right in this section where it has the address. And then right here for the wallet name, just put, put the coin symbol again. That's what I usually do just to keep it organized and clean. And then once you're done that, just click the create button. And it will create a wallet just right in here just like i have mine the btt wallet and then once you're done that you want to go over to the flight sheets and once you're at the flight sheets you'll have the new the add new flight sheet uh, box right here and once you're there you want to type in the coin that you're mining so for example i'll be doing btt and then you want to select the wallet that you set up it'll automatically only have that selected anyways and then for pool you just want to click configure and miner and then for miner, you just want to go over to here, like on the unminable page. And for example, I'll be doing Kapow because my graphics card is only about 4 gigs. And this one requires 3, where the biggest one is 6, ETC hash is 3, Kapow is 3, and Random X is your CPU. So as you see, it has NB miner or T-Rex. You can use other miners, but for this one, I'm just using T-Rex. So once you decided what miner you want to use, you want to click the select miner drop down. And for me, I'm using the T-Rex miner, so I'll just type in T-Rex. And then you're going to click set up miner config. And now this is the important step, so make sure to follow these specifically. Now for the algorithm, you want to select whichever one you have selected here. So Kapow for me. So for my drop down here, I'll just be scrolling down until you see Kapow. Once you click on that, so for wallet and worker template, this is the important part. So just like on the unminable steps, it says to put your, the coin symbol, your address and worker name. You literally want to do that, but for the wallet and worker template. So for me, it will be BTT and then the two dots, so colon I think it is. And then you want to put the wallet address that you have. So for me, I have mine here. I just got to pull it up quick and easy. So just copy the wallet address, you want to paste it on right beside it there, and then you want to put dot, and then whatever worker name you plan to use. So for me, GTX1650, alright, and then for worker name, you're just going to put the example that has for the miner. So percent worker underscore name percent, and then pool URL, you're just going to use whichever one that you're mining. So for me, it'll be Kapow. So you just click on it to copy it. You just left click on it and it'll automatically copy it. And then you just want to paste it right in the pool URL. And then for password, you just want to put X. So this setup is going to be for any coin that you decide to do. So like I said here, make sure to put the coin symbol and then the two dots. So colon, I believe it is. And then the wallet address for that specific coin and then dot. So don't forget the dot after the wallet address, then your worker name. And then the password is always going to be X. And then you just click apply changes. And then I already have mine set up and going here. It's already running. But as you see, I have the URL as the Kapow. The algo is Kapow because it automatically picks that up. Passwords X, the worker name, percent worker underscore name. Templates the same thing, BTT, colon, and then the wallet address, dot, and then my worker name. And after that, you just launch it like any other flight sheet and you'll be mining to Unminable, just like how I am right here. 
And I just forgot to mention here before I end the video, if you want to view the stats of like your miner, you just want to go back to the coins page and then select whatever coin you're mining. So for me, it's BitTorrent. So once you're on the coin page that you are mining, you just want to come over here to enter your address to check your stats. And then you just put your wallet address right here and click the green search button. And that will bring up your stats page for currently what you're mining. So for me, I'll just type mine in here. And I'll just show you the example because I'm currently mining Kapow. So as you see, it's popped up and I'm earning some BTT. I just started this like a little bit ago before I started this video. So Kapow for me is really good profitability. But yeah, it can take upwards of 15 minutes or more for your shares to start appearing. So don't be worried if right away when you start mining, the info is not showing up. It can take a little bit of time. So don't stress that at all and don't worry there. I have my BTT going. You have the exception rates a little slow for me. I don't know if that's normal for Kapow, but if you know, just let me know in the comments. Maybe that's just like a normal thing or it's just my card itself. But yeah, either way, it's good to use because if you're using Hive OS, now you can decide between all these coins and still get the benefits of like Windows OS and all that because you are able to use Unminable, but now you can with Hive OS. So yeah, whichever coin, just select it and follow these steps and it'll work for every coin. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe and like button if it did help. If you have any questions or need any help, make sure to comment below and I'll be glad to help you. But yeah, that's all for today and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.